Okay, hello people out there, this is Michael the Two and a Half Stooges, and this is Pokemon Hardcore Playthrough Part 41. Uh, continuing along this endless water route, you enjoyed, and you only played inside the house. Hmm, sounds kind of like me. Eh. Uh, Single shanks. Uh, come on, trainers in this game are so great at actually using like evolved Pokemon and stuff for a while. Oh, we're wrong. Game. Maybe. What is this? Route 2 to and say now? Come on. Oof. We're getting a total of. Like, zero experience points in that battle. Um, I need the stylus. And there is a hidden item. Not down there. Interesting. Wait, hidden item. Oh, it's up there, okay. Uh, make me walk around game. And... Stardust, okay. Not even gonna say something half money this time. Uh, what's over here? A swimmer. No electric bikini this time, please. This really why I'm okay. All right. See, I think this is um almost it for this um area of water roots now though. So possible to swim over to Jodo. Finally, as anywhere else, the thing with evolution and um, a purpose for fighting. I want to say there's a hidden item here, and I'm holding the stylus upside down. No, that's just a couple of extra, um, extra empty tiles. One of these days, I'm going to consider buying a couple more repels, but. Hmm. Anyway, uh, let's see. This way, south, around this corner, across you. That's like fighting a Rattata at this point in the game. Why? No, I, that's not an entry I want in my Pokedex. You a picnic here, guarding the entrance to the cave. You in Picnic Earth. Once again, an un unevolved Pokemon. See from Islands. Cinnabar Gym has been moved here. Leader is blamed. So yeah, when Cinnabar Island burned down and the um, well, it didn't burn down. It got destroyed by a volcano. 
Um, the gym was wrecked, somehow I guess Blaine survived, which is nice, and, um, the gym is now, um, here. So I guess, like, why not? Fire gym, cave with lava, I don't know, wait. Does this even, no, this isn't even a cave with lava, it's just a cave with a floor. Anyway, gym guide. Yes, so um, this is kind of a maze, uh, when you defeat the trainers they will move out of the way for you, which is nice. I'm moving Gyarados up front naturally because he's the water type and he's going to just eat up these a little. Um, MP4 probably could too, the Meganium, because um... Fang, whatever. Look how little damage it did for four times effective and Arcanon and one level above me. You! Hmm. Smoke, that's not an ability I'm uh, familiar with. Hmm. <clears throat> I guess it's just like clear body. Uh, prevents uh, stat lowering. Uh, you. Oh, I have to talk to you, okay. Shell Bell, all over healing, gotta love it. Since I knew before about Meganium, might be able to stand up to um, this gym fairly well if he was a couple levels higher. Or had the uh, Choice Scarf or something. Earthquake, super effective on fire. Whatever, maybe, maybe not. Uh, certainly. Ethan? Yeah, that's the uh, player's um, name in Gold Solar Crystal, Heart Gold Soul Silver, Ethan, I think. Yeah, of course, Ethan Water. Anyway, so... Nine Tails. I don't think in here that's ever done any, like, real damage on Gyarados. You better have Bone Heal. Yeah, really. Fire. Yeah, we'll lisp. Don't see very much of that in this game, as um, I did in Black and White. Uh, so anyway, uh, you didn't have to fight that last guy with the uh, nine tails that went and burned me, but I did anyway because I wanted the experience and I wanted to heal a little bit, but I didn't, that didn't happen because of the burn and... Stuff like that. Anyway, <clears throat> Blaine here, the 15th gym leader I'm fighting here, the 7th of Kanto, 
Uh, really? You have turned into a gym as long as it's not a gym leader. Hmm. Alright. Here we go once again. Gym leader battle with Blaine. So, the, um... He has three Pokemon. Leading off. Nicargo, 54, holding a white herb, which, um, for one time only restores a, um, any stat that was dropped, whether it be attack or defense or, um, even evasion or accuracy, I think. Uh, that's kind of a random thing here, except one of his moves is overheat, which lowers your special attack by two stages, so that would, um, negate that effect for one turn, but, turned out, uh, didn't even get to attack anything, because... Well, the special defense and um, four times weak to fire. Anyway, overheat, sudden day, smog, and rock slide. It's um, complete moves it is. Next, Magmar, also 54, also holding a wider thunder punch, confused way, overheat, and sunny day. I already talked about overheat and the um, wider thunder punch is kind of worrying because it's a Really gonna do a uh, bad, 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 a lot of damage to Gyarados, come on. What else can I do? I can send out Dragonite because Dragonite's level 55 and will probably destroy everything he faces, but... She faces, once again. But I don't really feel like doing that, let's see. PNG is still paralyzed because I didn't do anything about that. HTML! I'm gonna confuse you and, um... Hopefully confuse you and then... Uh, heal up Gyarados a little bit and see what happens there. Your attack is still down in one stage because of um, Intimidate. I'm pretty sure. Come on. Overheat, that's bad. 140 base power. Come on, use your defense. Thank you very much. And there goes the special attack and there goes the White Herb. And... I really okay good. All right, confused. So I should slow you down a little bit. I could quick attack or try to attack you, but I don't want to do that because I really want to have. Um, let's see, I'm actually gonna waste some max revive here on EXE. Heal up faster. Thank you. And all right, it's confused. Come on, hit yourself. Thank you very much. So I'm going to see you another day. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to quick attack because I don't know if I don't want to count on Magmar being confused in next turn too and uh, hitting himself. Turns out I could. Whatever. <clears throat> yeah. How? Oh, she can miss. All right. Okay, getting lucky. Come on, Umbreon. Alright, play this story, it's wonderful. So you're gonna be out of confusion now. Um, Alright, so now, as of now, I'm just gonna be um, wailing away with Dark Pulse, I think, until Umbreon does go down, and then I'm gonna just throw in Gyarados, because um, I believe they call it a switch initiative, you don't have to switch into any attacks. And your special attack is now permanently fallen, because the White Herb is not... Um, Multi-use item. Looking good. Alright, so your attack is going down again. And I'm pretty sure that's minus two. I'm pretty sure um, your attack doesn't get restored at when um, the intimidating Pokemon is switched out or gets KO'd or something. So that shouldn't do all that much damage. Yeah. Four times effective. Only did a little more than half. Anyway. <coughs> that's all done. Magma, Waterfall. Goodbye. Flame body. Yes, that's a bit of a pain. Alright, so getting some HP back there. Hopefully enough to offset the effective burn. I don't know, sure. Nah, not really. Anyway, lastly, Rapid Ash, level 59. Also holding a white herb. So, Flash Fire is this one's ability, not Flame Body, which is nice. Uh, fire type attacks just don't do anything, and I don't know why you would use a Fire type attack in this anyway, because I would only do, um. That would only do not very effective damage anyway. Whatever. Quick Attack, Bounce, Overheat, and Flare Blitz. So, you see Overheat on all three of these. I'm sure you can now guess what the TM the Bling likes to give out is. 
Flare Blitz, that's like the double-edged version that's Fire-type. I don't think it's going to do all that much between Intimidate and not very effective, so yeah. So it's like three turns for me. I'm just going to keep spamming Surf. Uh oh Bounce that ha uh, Bounce. Chance of Paralysis, which I don't really like very much. Don't paralyze me. Thank you very much. Bounce is like another version of Fly that just has, um... More accuracy, it's got like 85% accuracy and 85 base power instead of 90 and 100. Well, <clears throat> Rapid Ash going down, that wasn't too bad, not bad at all. Shovel really helped there a little bit, plus a four sword and max of and I understand like that. Goodbye, Blaine! Alright, you have burned out, very funny. Take this volcano badge. Alright. It's one more gym badge there. Overheat, yeah. So you can use the uh, lighter to once again negate the effect of overheat. Like Draco Meteor, that's uh, so I was trying to think of earlier. I'm trying to think of something to compare overheat to, but whatever. Uh, all right, so exiting this gym, it's not that bad. Just got to walk around all these rocks and get to the stairs. Now. Yay, rematch calls. Um, you may be noticing this staircase here, off to the side. This is the Seafoam Islands. Um, it is a dungeon. I will be exploring this later. There are two trainers down here, I believe. Two or three trainers, and... Uh, later on, something that's very, very interesting. Which I will be dealing with later. Um, right now, I'm going to be using Fly. And going to Cinnabar Island. Where, remember blue? Just not noticing the music, anyway. Uh, blue! So yeah, when you do have the first 15 gym badges of Heart Gold, Soul Silver, or Gold, Silver, and Crystal, or whatever, then, that is when you can go to Viridian City, and you can go into the Pokemon Center, and you can go to the Viridian City Gym. Um, let's see. I am going to be saving that for the next part of this playthrough, though. Uh, because I don't really think I can safely fit all of the Viridian City Gym, even if just the train is into a reasonably sized video. Uh, so, I don't really want to break it up, and uh, I always can't just save it for the next part. Anyway, yeah, the next part, Viridian City Gym. Rate, comment, subscribe, watch the next part of this playthrough, see you later.